Okay, I got another humankind uh, stream coming to you. Uh, this is a bonus edition humankind stream. Uh, now this <clears throat> will be the second time I've ever started humankind. Uh, so let's see if I can get that thing going here. Okay, humankind is right there. Humankind, humankind, humankind. Library. Humankind play. Okay, so I've got the play started on Humankind, so I will go ahead and make sure that I'm capturing that. Now I will close that. There we go. So now Humankind should pop up. Uh, when I started yesterday for the first time ever on Humankind, it took about four or five minutes. Uh, not complaining, just mentioning that because that means that I had to talk for four or five minutes. Okay, here we go. We're at the... Yikes, it's loud music there. So Sega wants you to know they've been involved in this uh, process and there's the screen uh, down at the bottom. You can see the, the loading progress bar. I guess they turned the music off now. And we'll see how long it takes. So start your stopwatches. Uh, no music on the loading screen, although they did have music on the Sega screen. Good for them. It's loading up. We'll see how much quicker it is today than as opposed to yesterday. Uh, so yesterday, there we go, that's quick. That was very quick. So that was uh, less than about 30 seconds uh, on, my, on my clock here. Now uh, the music is going away, is uh, fired up again. And there's my avatar from yesterday, and you can see I'm on Zao turn 14. So we're going to get that started. You can toggle the interface by pressing Shift F10. Well, I'm going to try that. Uh, so I started yesterday in the Neolithic area, era, popped as quickly as possible to the ancient era. Uh, I think from a gameplay perspective, it makes more sense to stay in the Neolithic era. As near as as long as for a long time while you're picking up some extra uh, stars and bonus, um, uh, but for gameplay reasons, I wanted to pop through and get to the uh, get to the ancient era. And you can see my plan for today is uh, when I'm picking cultures, going from era to era. I'm going to pick them uh, sort of at random. I just want to I just want to get a, a complete. Uh, Complete experience on all the various uh, different types of cultures. Uh, the, the Zhao that I picked was an aesthete culture, so we'll see how that works. Uh, the civics, when, I, when it gives me a, a, an option to take the civics, I'm going to take whatever option it is that gets me to the middle of uh, what the whatever the humankind developers think is the, the reasonable uh, uh, spectrum for humankind development, uh, which will be interesting. Uh, the techs, I'm just going to take the cheapest tech, just so I can get as many techs as possible and see what's going on. Uh, if there's a, a each uh, each culture has a uh, each culture has a specific district. Come on, guys! Come on! There we go. Each culture has a specific district, uh, so I'm going to try to build one of those. Uh, it turns out uh, that it looks like you get one of those. You can have at one at most one district in each territory you control. I thought it was one district per civilization or per culture. Uh, right now, I only have one territory under my control anyway, but uh, I think I'll uh, build, just build that uh, special district in every territory. Uh, so the Air Stars, like I mentioned, I uh, in the Neolithic era, I just took, uh, I just completed that uh, era as soon as possible. It looks like, as near as I can tell, the only downside to not jumping to the next era is that someone else might pick one of the uh, cultures that you want. Um, but since mods, in this particular playthrough, the cultures, I'm picking them, whatever whatever's available, I'll just, uh, that's not a problem for me. Uh, you did see my avatar. Where, here, let me show you my avatar. Everyone wants to see my avatar. It's got to be there somewhere. There he is. Sovereign, how can I help you? Yes, yeah, so we had uh, some slight uh, friction with the Hittites uh, in the ancient era, but uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, I was supposed to do Shift F10. Shift F10. 
Oh. Shift F10, Shift F10. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so let's pop down here. Shift F10, Shift F10. Now you can rotate a little bit, uh, but you, I can't tell right now if you can rotate the whole way around, plus it, uh, the game snaps back to the default orientation. So uh, if you're behind one of these uh, mountains or even these ridges here, uh, it's kind of tough to see what's going on. Like, uh, this, I'll take this square right here, the square that has the one industry. It's a little bit difficult to see what that that deal is there. In particular, I don't know if this uh, item here, right to the north of the uh, industry that had the one on it, is. I don't know if that's a cliff or just a hill. So as near as I can tell, you can't move up cliffs. So if you're down at the shoreline and you want to get up to this... Uh, hex that has the one industry you can't just walk up that cliff if that is a cliff uh, the game will figure out and probably put you over on this hill uh, directly to the east directly to the west of this uh, empty if, if that's where you started empty shoreline and then walk up that hill and then walk up that hill and then eventually uh, you go by this I don't even know what that is two yellow circles interesting Oops, shift F10. There we go. Uh, anyway, so uh, live and learn. I did not do the tutorial. Um, just as a way to see how good the interface is. And I'm pretty happy that I've been able to figure out, I think, most things so far. The one thing that I haven't figured out is how do I get to the next era? Let's see. Okay, I need era stars. As near as I can tell... If I get 300, I will get, if I get 300 influence, I'll get one star. And they're not giving me any fame. I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. Um, collect seven stars by fulfilling goals related to era stars. I don't have any, so once I get one, I'll figure out how I did that. Uh, competitive deeds. Uh, so just as a, as a sideline here, the available cultures uh, for the classical era. Okay, so they're all locked. I thought they were all locked because someone had already taken them, which meant that everybody else was in the uh, classical era, but that's not, in fact, the case. They're all locked. I think the idea is... Um, that you would be looking and deciding uh, what what would be the gr next great thing to do after the Zhao. Do we either continue the Zhao or do we go to somebody else? Uh, for me, uh, the cultures are not that big of a deal. Again, again, I'm just trying to get an idea of all these cultures here. I can't quite figure out what the era goal is. It, it probably This probably means something to somebody who's played the tutorial. Expansionist stars own three territories. Okay, so they want me to get to three territories. I have one territory. So I think I'll try to get two more territories and then see if I get a star here. I don't know why my reward is zero. That's kind of annoying. Uh, builder stars. Okay, so I built one district. I built a special district for the Zhao. I've got one. Uh, agrarian stars, four pops. So I get 12. So I think I can get three stars if I get two, two more territories, build another... Build, oh, geez, I got to build. Uh, I got to build five more districts and then get my total population up to twelve. I think I can do that. Money, scientist, obtain four technologies. So I think I'm kind of on the way to that. I'll show you how that works. And militarists. Okay, so I've destroyed uh, the Hittites. Have attacked me twice, uh, provoked, I might add. Uh, and I destroyed both of their uh, both of their attackers. So here's the. Uh, tech tree, like I mentioned. Well, what do they call it? They call this the progression. Okay, so I've got two. If I go back to this, uh, uh, era stars. Yeah, so I have two, and I need to get four. So once I get to the fourth one, I'll get a star, and then I'm guessing they'll change this four to 20 or something. To, for me to get my next scientist star. So I'm switching back to the tech tree. 
Um, let's see. So right now I'm working on carpentry. I've got two more turns to do that. And then I'll do domestication because it's the easiest one. Uh, two more turns to do that. And then I'll decide what I want to do next. Uh, as you would expect. Uh, the, the, the closer ones, the ones that are lower on the tech tree are cheaper. So I'll, I'll, they're all about the same. I mean, they're all the same expense. So I'll just pick whichever one. Those are 51. You can see that's 51 science. Fishing is also 51 science. And irrigation is 51 science. So at that point, I'll just go ahead and pick one of these. Uh, depending on what I see fit. Now I'm going to switch over to... So here is the certain version of the tech tree. You do that by hitting Alt, Alt 3. Uh, oh, hang on a sec. Let's do Shift F10. Gets rid of everything. Okay, so you can see I'm working in carpentry. I've got two turns left. Uh, and then it says I've got uh, these. These are the next ones it suggests for me. So maybe I'll just take that. Uh, let's see. So I think that's it for information. Let's go ahead and try to do something here. So I've got... Okay, so I found... Okay, so there are four other empires here. And I've got some sort of relationship to them. I've got huge war support. If I wanted to go to war with the uh, with the Hittites, that might be a good idea. Uh, but I'm losing one war. I'm losing one war support every turn. They are at real low war support because I beat. I think because I've beaten them a couple times. Yeah. So their their normal uh, war support is up at eighty. My normal war support is up at, I'm guessing, 50. Can't really tell from this. Uh, so this might be a good time to, to just take them out. Surprise war. So if I give them a surprise war, they get 10 war support. And... see what's going on I'm not usually don't usually like to do the war thing because oh they've got two two territories okay so what am I building in my city I am I'm building warriors okay so I got three turns to build warriors I'll do that and then at that point I'll make a decision on whether or not I want to just try to take out the Hittites in the meantime I have constructed an outpost here in this let me roll back in this uh, territory here, which is close to mine. Uh, I'll probably, once the outpost is done, I'll probably try to turn it into a city. I don't really know how to do that, but uh, I don't even know if that's a good idea or not, but I'm going to do it. Let's see. Evolve your outpost into city. Costs 80 stars, and I've got 30 stars. So I'm going to have to wait for a while to do that. Uh, in the meantime, I've got a bunch of animals kind of floating around probably should try to take those guys out okay so these guys are both recuperating uh, let's go to him so he's sitting right there right uh, on the edge of Hittite territory recuperating I think maybe I'll attack this uh, whatever this is unidentified animal they've got eight strength I've got 14. Not sure exactly how the uh, the combat system works, but that's that sounds like I'm ahead. And once I and I'll I haven't attacked any any animals yet in the game, so I will go ahead and do that. Okay. So my side is stronger overall. I could retreat, fight a manual battle, or instant resolution. Right now, I'm just going to instantly resolve everything figure out later okay yikes yikes so what did I win there I gained five gold and lost three quarters of my unit strength wow that was definitely not worth it so I'm gonna sit here and try to recoup my strength 
and go on to the next hunting party. He's down there. So he's outside of that territory. So I, oh, hello, what's this? Discoveries can be made by being the first army here. So that sounds like it would be a good thing. So let me pop over to the star screen. I've got, let's see, discoveries. Yeah, I guess I'll go see what it is. Let's go. I have discovered animal rain, remains. I get eight science, which is good and 10 fame. So now my fame used to be 30, now it's 40. That's good. Because uh, I'm trying to get to 80 fame so that I can turn this outpost into a city, just as a short-term goal. Okay, so eight. Science, now I'm gonna go to my science screen and my carpentry was two turns, now it's one turn. So I've got 18 left on carpentry. Now 18 in total on carpentry. Okay, so I think I got a little bit further on that tech tree. Oh, and here's another. Let's just, okay, so now do I want to uh, create a outpost in this territory so that I can claim that territory and keep it away from the Hittites? Or do I want to pop down and take a look at this uh, discovery here? I think long-term I probably should make a territory here so that I can keep away, keep the uh, Hittites away, but shh. Short term, I don't, if I, even if I create a, uh, claim the territory, wait, if I claim the territory, that will consume all of my movement points. Does it get rid of my hunting party or not? I think the answer is no, because, okay, so the question is where do I want the, where do I want the outpost? So this whole area here that's right in the middle of the screen, there's no food there. Oh, there's a little bit of food. Okay, so I take that back. Yeah, there's... This area here, there's no food. There's these mountains that have a lot of... Oh gosh, there's a set... Oh, no, I thought that said seven. It's a one. So I don't want to go here. I think... Basically, right where, I, right where I am would be a good spot. Now, uh, before, my uh, in the previous territory, uh, I created a city right where they're in between two, um, two mountains because it said that my uh, special district got bonuses for being close to mountains, so I thought I'd be close to two, but I think I took the city and put it in the two mountain place, and then the district, I think, only has one mountain. So I'm on, I don't want to be right here in this two mountain place. I think I want to be... Okay, Evacerman. Evacerman, hey, how are you doing? Uh, that's, that's good to have you stop in on the stream. Uh, I'm doing a first ever Humankind playthrough. I've never played Humankind before. I fired it up yesterday. Uh, and uh, did about two hours worth. Uh, so I thought I'd jump back in again. Um, so I haven't done the tutorial. I'm trying to do it as a uh, complete Noob. I've played a lot of Civilization, uh, obviously, like a lot of people have. That's how I heard about Humankind. So I thought I'd just play through this and make all the mistakes possible. Uh, you can see my plan up on the upper, on the middle right there. Uh, I'm trying to make all, trying to remove all the decision making from this particular playthrough uh, so that I can just play through and have things happen to me. And I know I'm making a lot of bad mistakes. I'm assuming I'm making a lot of bad mistakes. I did mention that uh, when I made this city up here, you can see I made that city right nestled between these two mountains here because I read that the district, my special district got a bonus from mountains. Uh, but I think then when I built my special district, this, the city center was right there. So I had to build the special district out here where there was only one mountain. So I think I made a mistake on that. Uh, so I wanna make sure I don't make the same mistake here. And I'm not exactly sure how all this food stuff works. There's one food there. One food there. Yeah, all the food is in these other districts. So this particular district here does not have a lot of food in it. There's two food here. I think I'm just going to create my uh, my uh, outpost here. So I don't know if this is a good move or not, but, but I guess I'll find out in uh, a couple of days. Um, 
of Ackerman. If, you, if you've ever played Humankind, uh, let me know if I'm doing things correctly. Or if you haven't, let me know if you do this, the same things that I'm doing. Also, let me know about the music and uh, how, how the volume, everything is working out. Um, okay, so let's keep going here. I'll keep playing through and see what the deal is. Get back here. Wait, wait. Okay, so I've... I switch out here. Okay, so the downside of this move was that uh, my territory with the Hittites used to be one square. Now it's just a whole bunch of squares, a whole bunch of tiles here. That's probably long-term a mistake. I probably should have uh, done this ter or claimed this territory up north of Heijong, uh, but I didn't. Um... So that's a lesson for next time. Now these guys, I'll go back to my units. The hunting party fought that uh, uh, earlier in, the, in this turn. The hunting party fought some elk and got a me meager five gold out of it and lost almost all of their uh, health. Uh, let's see. So I'm in my own uh, my own territory. So I gain 20 health per turn. I'm at 20, so I've got 80 to go. So I'm going to have to just sit here for four turns, or at least stay in my territory for four turns. Um, this hunting party here is the one that I just turned into, or used to build an outpost. And now I'm going to go to this guy right here and see what I want him to do. He's okay. So he's got some movement left. And again, I did complain a little bit about the UI. It's kind of hard to see what's going on behind these mountains. Uh, so if I were to attack this guy, he's got 14 strength and I've got 14 strength. So I'm going to say no. I'm going to just kind of bum around. So those mammoths are pretty strong. Wait, what does this 10 gold thing mean? This spawn point has been ransacked. So if I go there again, I get another 10 points? I don't know. Let's see. So can I ransack this? Ransack. Uh, the answer is no, I can't. I could claim this territory here. I think I will not do that for now. I think I'm going to move back into Let's go. my territory so that I can get my 20 bonus per turn. Okay, so I think that's about it for this turn. I'm going to pop on to the next turn and see if they let me do anything. I'm we'll done with him. Out, now it lets me in the turn. So now I'm going on to the next turn. Let's see what happens. I'm done with carpentry. Uh, the mammoths are running away. I would like to attack them. Now, this might be a good idea to attack because I think I'm, I've got the upper ground. Maybe I'll try that. Uh, so now I can build a lumber yard or an archer. So I have to wait till I'm done building my warriors in this town. You can only build things in town. I've got one town, so that makes it pretty simple. Uh, let's see. So the town itself as I'm trying to see how much defense it has so that I don't know if I have to worry about being attacked by these woolly mammoths in the town or not but I guess I'll find out um okay so let me go back to my stars three territories attached to any city I still have one territory I've claimed three but I only have one city I still have 12 wait I still have five pop. Okay, so now they have a reward number in here. It's a hundred. It was zero before, so I don't know if that was a mistake on the UI. Okay, this says reach 300 influence. So when I spend that 80 influence to get the, uh, to turn that outpost into a city, I'm going to lose, I think these stars here. So they want me to hoard the influence instead of spending it. That's kind of weird. Uh, militarist stars. Destroy a total of three military units. Okay, scientist stars. I think I'm going to get a scientist star pretty soon. 
And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to study domestication. So that gives me two turns. I just picked domestication because it's the uh, quickest one to study. So in two turns, I'll go back to this screen here. I should have three scientist stars. And no, wait, scientist. I should have three. I should have four scientist stars and get me another technology star. Uh, now, if my warrior unit finishes, I might go pop down and try to destroy one of uh, one of the Hittites units. Hopefully, not get involved in a, in a long drawn out war. Maybe I'll get uh, then I can destroy three units. I should get a star for that militarist. This money. Population. So population, I think, is only wait five pop. I don't know if that's only cities or not. I'm going to build some more districts, and I'm I'm working. I've got two more uh, territories. I'll work on that. And this, I really don't know what what the heck that is. So let me go back to here. Okay, so I've gained a population. So its population is one, and it can have at most four. Uh, and it looks like it's in three turns. I'm going to get the second population in uh, Itawan. So let's see if I can figure out on Wang, Zhang. Ooh. So I'm losing population here. That doesn't that doesn't not look good to me. I should probably try to fix that. So I've got zero population. Okay, my fortification value I think is 15 and these woolly mammoths were 12, I think. Two districts that will be the main city district plus this uh, Confucianism school one territory okay so my population is zero and I'm losing population Okay, so this seems like the biggest problem that I've got out there, which I had no idea what was going on. I don't know how many turns this has been going on. The negative surplus means the city will begin losing population after the number of turns def defined by the size of the food shortfall. Okay. So I'm losing four. When am I going to... Sorry. When am I going to lose my population? Eight food are being is being used, and I've got five food, so I should be losing three per turn. I'm confused. Okay, so I could make six food if I had a farmer to move in there. Or I could make six industry, or six dollars, or six science if I had somebody that I could allocate to this population here. It doesn't look like I'm doing that. Stability is good. Oh. The city's food output is too low. It is currently losing one population every 16 turns. So it looks like in two turns. Wow. Okay, so it looks like I built this city and I didn't have enough food for it and I didn't notice it until today. So this, here's the four food that I'm making. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, kind of confused here, damn it. Okay, so this special zone here gives me a bunch of stability and some science. I do not need stability because I'm getting empire bonus of 40, capital bonus of 50, and 25 bonus because I picked lower difficulty. Okay. 
So getting this uh, unique district here turned out not to be a, something that I needed. I probably should have built a farm or something. So I think next district I'll try to build a farmer's quarter. I'm not sure exactly what that does, but it gives me a food. Okay, so my warrior's going to be done in two, and then I'll start on this farmer's quarter. And we'll see what I, I don't know what all this stuff here is. Ah, granary. Okay, so I get plus two per farmer. I've got no farmers, so that doesn't help me. Got influence. And industry. So it looks like I'm real short on food, so I should, probably should try to build this granary. Uh, but I need populations more than anything. So I'm not smart enough to figure out how to increase the population. Okay, so what is this? I'll hide that for now. You can barely see it. Not sure what that's telling me. So, let's run my units around. That's the fun part of the game. I, okay, there's... I think I wanted to come down here, take my hunting party, and find whatever this is here. So that'll take two turns. Why is that? Because this river is blocking me. So... One, two... Yikes. Okay, so I thought uh, I was pretty excited about humankind because they said you, you can travel up and down rivers uh, by using only one movement point, so I thought it would be cool to run up and down these rivers, but it, it turns out that uh, crossing the rivers looks like it really takes a lot of uh, effort out of you. So I've, I went two two tiles here, used up my four tiles of uh, movement points. And I don't even know if I can go down. I guess I can. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so that guy's done. The next guy is sitting here. He's almost back to normal. Don't see anything for him to explore. I'm gonna move him over to here so that when he does get to full strength. Next time. Well, you know what? He's pretty much at full strength now. Let's pop him out here. Okay, so these are cliffs. Let's head down here. I want to get I want to get a little bit closer to the Hittite Empire, but not actually cross over into their borders. So I can so it looks like I can from here, I can see the adjacent squares, and then I can see this square that's lower. I don't have any way to click on that square to highlight it, and then I, and I can see all of these squares out here. So there's a unknown strategic resource, an unknown strategic resource. So, I don't know. I don't think there's any particular uh, advantage to scouting around down here. Unless I wanted to take... Maybe I should just kind of walk around over here, see what's going on uh, in the eastern part of my continent. Okay, so click on this. This guy's moved, this guy's moved. Here's the last guy. This guy. So I'm just going to stay... Ooh, hello. So they might be trying to give us trouble. Who are these guys? I think I will move out of their range. But I don't want to be attacked by this woolly mammoth. I think I'll move, stay inside my uh, territory so that I can get my uh, bonus back get my 20 health per turn, get up a little bit on the high ground uh, in case that mammoth attacks me. There's got to be some advantage to that. 
Okay, so everyone has moved, and I don't have anything else that I can do, I don't think. We'll move to the next turn. Okay, so these guys, I'm just going to... Yeah, so I can't go directly down this cliff here. I've got to go around and go down. So it looks like... Stop doing that. So it looks like these cliffs are two levels of elevation and then you can only you can only go one at a time, one level of elevation down at a time. Um Yeah, I'll go scout around there. What's the worst that can happen? Pop down here. And in the middle of a turn it tells me I've researched domestication, so that's good. So now I should have an Aerostar unlocked. So I'm going to my Aerostar. I've got four. I get an Aerostar. So if I get three more to get to seven, I'll get my second Aerostar. Militarist stars. Okay, so I'm not sure why that fired in the middle of a turn, but it did. Oh, uh, so let me go to my uh, tech tree, or let me go to the Minimal tech tree. Okay, so it's giving me all five of these here. So I don't really care which one I do. Spearman, watchtower. So this is military stuff. So I need population is what I need. I think this might be the way to go. Don't want to overthink it. I'm just going to do it. Uh, so this guy here has got two more moves left. I'm going to move here. And then when I go down here... Uh, okay, so now I'm looking at this and I can see the edge of the coast here. So this might be the end of everything or maybe there's some islands or some more, more continents out there. As I move back. So I don't know how much you can, uh, like a land unit can, like a scout unit can go on the sea. I guess I'll find out when I get there. And, okay, so he's done. Who's this? Okay, this guy was the guy sent back here to recuperate. So both of these are 13, so I'm just going to sit here. Maybe he'll attack me. And then now, <clears throat> this is what I was interested in. It was Sanctuary. I don't know what that is. But right now I'm going to try to get here. Follow me. There. And then there. What do I get? I get tent. Well, that's nowhere near enough. Okay, curiosity collected. You found eight. Science and 10 stars. So I've got 54 stars. That's good. What was this? Okay, air star unlocked. Investigation researched. Okay. So I, sh so I should have some more movement points here. I can't move down because that apparently is two levels. Yeah, I can see that's two levels. There's this level that he's on and then this level here. Oh, uh, sorry, uh, Evermac Ever Man. I got kind of caught up. Um, Yeah, uh, I didn't check my uh, didn't check my chat. I apologize for doing that. So, uh, uh, let's see what's going on here. So, do I want to head down here? Well, I can't head down there because I can't get there. I could get there. It looks like, maybe. No, those are cliffs. Okay, so it seems to think that this, oh, damn it. this here is not a cliff. I can't really tell what's going on. Anyway, there's nothing down there that I want to see. Copper and unknown. Um, oh, here's something interesting. So it looks like I've traveled along this whole coast here. 
And there's another island or continent, I can't tell. So I'd like to go explore there. On the other hand, uh, if I am going to start a war in one turn with uh, the Hittites, I probably should keep my guys around here. Maybe see if I can get up. I'll get all up in here. Let's do that. Okay, so he's moved. He's moved. He has not moved. I'm gonna leave him there. What is this? Cities and outposts? Oh yeah, how's my... Okay, it looks like I'm gonna lose. I don't know what I can do about it. I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm going to hit the turn to go to the next turn. Turn 16. This guy's idle. Skip him. Turn 16. Okay, during the recent brutal battle... <clears throat> Okay, how will I welcome crippled soldiers? Um, or fire exploit. Interesting. Interesting. So, celebrating gives me stability. I got stability out the Yazoo, so I don't need that. And now, if I'm building land units or naval units, I can make them cheaper. I'm going to do that either. Because the next thing I want to build is some sort of farm or something to help me not lose uh, population. So I don't need to celebrate. So isn't there a... Isn't there a screen that shows you what your civics are or something? Show culture, show deeds. Science. I don't know what that is. Society. Okay. Two, three, four, and five. So there should be a, like a civic thing. Let me go to games, game options. Sorry, I meant to say settings. Mouse and keyboard. Camera, camera. So this, I thought this camera rotate left and right would be helpful uh, on looking at those cliffs and mountains, looking behind those cliffs and mountains to see what's going on, uh, but not so much. Okay, empire screen, culture screen, technology panel, civic screen, so that's four. Religion screen is five. Military forces, cities, cultural wonders, encyclopedia, hex grid, fins grid, that might be kind of interesting. What is that, an O or a zero? An o. Okay, so I want to try my civic screen with a four, but I've tried that and nothing happens. And then the other thing I want to try is this O. Let's see what a FMS screen is. Resume. Okay, so. Hmm. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, let's see, so now I'm in turn 16 still? Okay, so it didn't let me go to turn 17 for some reason. Okay, I have to decide on that. Okay, so neither of these matter to me. Um, oh, here we go. Wait. Okay, so my idea is to move everything closer to the center. So I don't know what all these things mean because as soon as I try to hover over them, they go away. Maybe if I click. Uh... Okay, that didn't work. Okay, so both of those move me slightly away from center. I'm, I'm starting out on dead center. So one of them moves me from light to candle. I don't have no idea what that means. And the other one moves me from the globe to a uh, fort. I have no idea what that mo means either. So. Uh, 
How can I find that screen there? I hit I hit four. So there's no four for me. Okay, so I'll just do this since it doesn't matter to me. End turn. I keep trying to hit four to see if I can get something to happen, but nothing happens. So I'm going to go to the next turn. Um, it looks like I should have a... Let me see what's going on here. Okay, so I've got a warrior, and his strength is 20. But my other guy's strength is 14. So again, I don't know how the military system works, so I, but I will find out how 20... 20 presumably is better than 14. Uh, let me look at here. Oh, your city's food output is high enough to support the population growth. I don't know what my... I must have lost a population. Yeah, okay, so I'm getting... So I used to have a population, which... It, didn't tell me where it was or how much the population of the city was and I lost that pot and that population was taking eight per turn so since I lost that population I'm not using any food so I'm getting five per turn so in one turn I'm gonna get one population back but where does it say what the size of my city is uh, ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. rename the city I'm going to rename that city. I'm going to call it... Oh, Hajoin. I'm going to call it uh, Patrickville. There we go. Uh, so the population is negative one. Uh, I'm a little confused. But I now have a warrior. I've got a city that's growing. I've got 57 influence. Let me look at my era stars. I do have an era star for scientific research. If I get three more, I'm going to pop over to scientific research. That's three turns. So in 13 turns, I'll have three more stars, three more uh, civic uh, technologies. And I'm going back to my star screen. So I should be able to get another scientist stars. Um, boy, this fame is... I'm just cranking through that super slowly. Yeah, so I think I need to start a war to get another fame star here. Okay, so once I get seven stars, then I can go to the next culture, or the next era. So I can get one more here, maybe one more there. I thought this was going to be the big deal here, but it, it's... I'm, I don't know if I'm making enough stars per turn. Let me, let me get out of here for a second. I'm making one influence per turn, so it's going to take me 270 turns to get a Aerothet stars. Okay, so I'll do this, the uh, science, maybe start a war, or maybe be uh, violated by the evil Hittites, and then do a little bit of expansionism, get a couple of stars, maybe that'll get me one or two, maybe three more stars, and then somehow I'm going to have to scrounge up the rest of them, I don't really know how, probably should have an idea. Oh, here we go. This ketchup category will, pa ketchup will passively grant you air stars. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. So my, th I had thought that the only downside to not going to a new era was that it reduced the number of cultures you could pick from. Maybe that's not the case, although this doesn't say that. So there are three other uh, civilizations in this game. So if they all get before me, maybe I'll get an extra three stars. And deeds. I'm going to look at deeds for a second here. 
I have to build a wonder. I don't even know how to do that. Can't build a rail railway line. I can't go to these other continents. You know, I need to figure out how to get on the ocean. Build a holy site. Don't know how to do that. I'm guessing that's uh, as a uh, district that you build. Satellites. Test nuclear weapons. Explore the world. Own a nuclear weapon. Complete a symposium. Don't know how to do that. Discover electricity. Discover renewable energy. Okay. You mean wind power? Or oxen power? That's renewable energy. You morons. Movable typeface. Imperial power. That sounds fun. Seafaring mastery. So I don't know what that means. Writing. That must be a tech. So I'm going to hit go to the tech tree and see what we've got here. Oh, there's writing right there. So if I'm the first guy to get to writing, I'm going to go back to the screen I was at. So they don't remember where you were in the scroll. Uh, writing. I get 50 fame. And presumably I should learn Latin. Uh, maybe this means words go away, written things stay based on my Latin from 40 years ago. Okay, so uh, let me get out of here. I've got, uh, I think I'm getting, I think I've got a plan of what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to, okay, let me look. What are these guys are telling me? Patrickville entered this, f what? Okay, so we definitely have to start a war. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not sorry. Or not. Okay, so I don't know what's going on. Obviously, I didn't play the tutorial. Uh, I watched a couple YouTube videos. I built a city. I'm running some guys around, some scouts around to do stuff. Um, I lost population in my city. I built a special quarter that gives, that gives me stability. I don't have any need for stability. Uh, but again, one of the things I wanted to do was uh, build that uh, district, build the special district, that should read. Um, I guess the thing I'm most successful at is that my avatar is a sexy, sexy beast. There's no question about that. Got the green sash. People like that. Got those scars. It's just, uh, the guy's just top of the line. So what I'm going to do is save the game here. And then, uh, cut. There we go. Save the game. On cloud is our turn 17. Uh, and then in terms of the stream, I'm going to... Uh, stop the stream right now. Thanks, Avacraman. Um, I'm going to stop the screen. I got some other stuff to do. Uh, I will come back later in the day. I do have a chess stream uh, scheduled for later tonight.